This is Esther, this is Monsa Musa, and that's John Daniel. And behind the camera, we have our teammate Dewey. We are the champions featuring the championship. So the first thing we wanted to do as a team is make sure that we knew how to communicate with each other. Our main form of communication was texting and emailing, and once we had established that we were going to communicate that way daily, the way that we organized ourselves was through an electric group document. Our budget was flexible, and it was really up to each individual team member how much they wanted to spend. And then our schedule is pictured on the left, and it has a list of each of the meetings that we have conducted throughout the creation of our canoe. Our team logo and marketing, so we decided on championship because it was a witty play on the idea of being the champions and sailing the boat. And then the champion's name, which is our team name, uh, we came up with based off of the boat name. The boat name ended up creating the theme for the rest of the project. Our logo is a chalice because we thought that it fit the theme as well and the ribbon solidifies the idea of winning. Construction and engineering. So uh, we ran through multiple design choices. Uh, we had quite a few uh, preliminary meetings deciding how we wanted to tackle this. And our first design was initially a uh, rectangular prism. It was just a box. We felt that that gave us the best stability, the best buoyancy. And uh, little by little, we began to edit it until we had uh, one major change where uh, we ended up taking the entire front and angling it so that it had a skiff front and then adding uh, beams across to give it support to the walls. Our final dimensions ended up being 93 and a half inches by 37 inches by 14 inches, which is just over eight feet uh, long, just over three feet wide, just over a foot tall. This is our lab report. Uh, so for this project, we had to conduct an experiment and we decided to test the, uh, how duct tape performed when attached to cardboard in extreme weather. And we simulated that by keeping them in water for expo uh, extended periods of time. And we were able to determine uh, best brand of duct tape and how best we could use it. Okay, continue testing. We ran through multiple tests on the canoe through water scenario uh, and a weight test as well. Picture here. We also went through weathering with this as well. This was our initial test for our first uh, draft of the, the boat. We wanted to see just how much this uh, very rough build could hold. And I'm about 190 pounds. And it was able to carry me pretty easily and stayed well above the water. This test solidified that our base, uh, the base that we had come up with was going to work very well for the build. Through this project, we were required to go, go through and design out what it would look like if we, for documentation purposes. This is our base canoe, and along with the cross-section of what the cardboard looks like, it's not quite as accurate as it possibly could be, because cardboard has lots of variants. Um, this is the photographs of the tape we used. Um, we chose this tape. Um, because A, it was given to us, and um, we were also trying to find the most durable tape to use for the water, um, specifically for the weight of all of us being inside of the canoe. So, um, yes. And this is our initial testing, which was pretty rough, but, um, we got through it. Um, most of the initial testing was us trying to build the base and the walls surrounding it um, to make it more durable. Um, and this is our original design, how we had finished it. It was uh, just a pure rectangular prism as opposed to our final design, which as you see has the cross-sectional beams there and then a lifted front to help us go through the water easier. Thank you very much.